Good morning, friends of chemistry. I'm doing module two in Apologia Chemistry, second edition, and looking at On Your Own 2.1, which can be found on page 46. 2.1 says, normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. What is this temperature in Celsius? So looking at uh, equation 2.1, which is found on the previous page, we see that, um, hold on a moment. Degrees Celsius equals 5 ninths, the degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. Okay, so our Fahrenheit is 98.6. We want to find out what that is in Celsius. Okay, so say degrees Celsius is 5 ninths of 98. 98.6 minus 32. So I'm going to subtract here. And I get, okay. Now, looking at this and uh, applying my rules for significant digits, I realize that since my 32 is only precise to the ones place, my answer can only be precise to the ones place. So that would round to 67. Okay, so now I'm going to say 5 ninths of 67. So 9 goes into 67. Sorry for the squeaking. Goes in 7. 4, 4, looks like. Um, And then multiply that by 5. So we get an answer of 37.20 degrees Celsius. Now, this is not the answer I'm going to uh, report because it is to, um, it has too many significant digits. It has four, okay, but I want to have three. So I'm going to go back and have three significant digits. I'm going to report my answer as 37.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm going to go on and do 2.2, which is also found on page 46. If water boils at 100.0 degrees Celsius, what is the boiling temperature of water in Fahrenheit? Okay, so this is the opposite of this equation. Now, we're given this formula. Okay. Um, they don't spell out for us the correct equation to use, but we're going to uh, solve for it. So we're going to multiply both sides by 9 fifths. So we're going to say 9 fifths degrees Celsius is Fahrenheit uh, minus 32. And I'm going to add 32 to both sides. We're going to say 9 fifths degrees Celsius plus 32 equals degrees Fahrenheit. Now notice that my parentheses are not needed in this equation, and that is correct. We don't need the parentheses. Here they're essential. You can't say 5 ninths Fahrenheit and then multiply, uh, subtract 32. It has to be done here first. Right? But with the other conversion, you don't require the parentheses. So let's plug in our numbers. We're told 9 fifths of 100. 0 0.0 degrees Celsius plus 32 equals degrees Fahrenheit. So 5 goes into 100. I'm going to ignore my significant digits for the moment and just use 100. That's 20. It's 180 plus 32 gives me 2, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. 
So my original equation, I was given to four. I want to report with four. So 212.0 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to 100.0 degrees centigrade or Celsius. Now, if we'd only been given 100 with no tenth uh, place significant digit, we would only have to report this to three significant digits. So be careful with those significant digits. 